Hey everyone! Well, in this video I'll be going over steering. I've received several requests that people want to understand what happens when you turn your wheel. How does it actually turn the, the angle of the tires? And so that's what I'm going to be going over in this video. Um, I'm going to go over the rack and pinion version of steering. There are other types of steering, such as the recirculating ball steering, and there's also uh, electric power steering, which can be added to that. Um, but for this video, I'm going to be going over rack and pinion. It's a fairly common uh, steering mechanism, and it's pretty simple to explain how the power steering works, which is another thing I'm going to go into. So for the first part, just look at this picture here. Um, ignore all of that. That's the power steering, and I'll go over that. So basically, you've got your steering wheel here. Now this is an exact rep replica of a 99 Integra steering wheel. Um, I spent a lot of time drawing that. Very good design. Uh, actually, it is a really good design because they don't make steering wheels now where you can put your hand on the bottom. They, they make it so there's like a little T right there and it's pretty annoying. I don't know if you guys have a car with a, a little hole on the bottom, but it's pretty nice. Anyways, that's totally irrelevant. So you have this shaft coming from the steering, uh, the steering column, and so you, there's your wheel. Uh, and then at the end of that, there's a pinion, and then there's a rack. Now this rack is connected with a tie rod and a steering arm, which connect to your tire, the wheel hub. So you can see, say you turn your, uh, your steering wheel to the right. So we're going to turn that to the right. That's if you're facing this direction towards the camera. So you turn that to the right. That's going to turn this pinion to the right, which is going to force this rack to go to the right, which is going to force that tire to turn clockwise. So if you turn like this, that tire is going to go like that and turn with you. So that's how a basic rack and pinion works. It's a very simple device and it works well. So one thing to note is if you make this pinion larger um, or the rack smaller than the teeth on them, then it's going to be more difficult to turn because with less rotation you're going to get a lot uh, more more steering more uh, angle change of your tires now on the other hand if you make this pinion smaller or the rack uh, with much more teeth um, than the pinion then it's going to be easier to turn but the downside is you'll have to turn your wheel a bunch of times around just to go around a corner so there's kind of like a, a nice balance that you want to find in there. Um, in sports cars will be a little tighter where you can turn more with less uh, actual turning of your wheel than say for instance a bus or something like that where you, you know, you've got a large force that you need to, to deliver um, in order to turn the vehicle. Now for the power steering side of it. So for the power steering to work, what happens is you've got this piston cylinder device right here which has fluid in it. So here is your rack here and it's got this uh, red little piston here and then there's fluid inside of this case right here on both sides of that piston. Now you've also got a reservoir and a pump here off to the side. Now that pump is driven by a belt, uh, an, an engine from your engine belt and so it'll only work while your car is actually on. Um, hence, I don't know if you've ever been driving and, you, and your engine has died and you lose power steering and it's, it's very difficult to turn the wheel. Uh, so what's going on there is, say you turn your wheel to the right, once again an exact replica of a 99 Integra steering wheel. Um, put a lot of work into that drawing right there. Good stuff. Anyways, if say you turn that wheel to the right, like we did earlier. Now, there, this rotary valve here is where all the magic happens. So this rotary valve will open up this side of the piston cylinder device and it will allow the fluid in there to flow out to the reservoir. Simultaneously, when you turn the wheel, that uh, rotary valve will allow the fluid from the pump to flow into the, uh, this side of the piston cylinder device. So your pressure is going to increase on this side and decrease on this side, which is going to force your uh, rack to move that direction meaning your tires will rotate the direction you want. And so it'll be very easy to do because that pressure is what's applying the force there and you're just simply rotating the wheel to where you want it to be. Now, if you were to change it around and turn your wheel to the left, well, this awesome rotary valve would simply just switch the directions that things flow. So instead of the fluid flowing um, from the right side of the piston cylinder area right here to the reservoir, it would flow from the left side 
to the reservoir and then the pump would flow into the right side and so then it would force it that direction and then your tires would turn the other direction so it's a pretty cool uh, device and it's it's pretty simple as far as the rack and pinion and, and visualizing how it turns uh, and so I'll try and find an example and I'll attach that to the end of this video of a, a real world scenario now electric power steering so what that does instead of using a fluid like this it'll include a motor in there and the motor will assist you in turning and there's also as I mentioned a recirculating ball uh, type of steering so if you want to look into that that's another another option out there but for this video I just went over the uh, standard rack and pinion steering so here we have the steering rack on a Dodge Dakota you can see the steering wheel input comes in here and it'll pass along down this shaft so this is where your pinion is going to be and your pinion is connected to this rack which is inside this tubing here and then each of these tubes one will lead to the reservoir and one will lead to the pump for the power steering and so then that if we follow this along you can see it's passed to the outside tires so that's connecting right here to the front of this tire here for turning So very simple setup, you just turn the steering wheel, it turns that shaft right there, which turns on the rack right here, which pushes your tires in either direction.